Hi, I'm Voltasex. Uh, today we're going to have a quick go at fitting a crane onto this trailer. Uh, so we're making the sub base. I should have started videoing earlier because I already cut some steel, but I forgot everything about it. But anyway, let's have a look at it. So this is uh, my trailer. It's a little tipping, little tipping trailer. And what I want to do is make a sub face, sub base to fit, you know, a, a little swing lift crane. So I cut these two pieces of uh, C channel, uh, and I now took this hitch. I'm going to mount mount one of the pillars down there. Uh, but as I now lifted that hitch off, this chassis completely full of water. All this bulk section, so I'll add, you know, drill a drain under here or something. She's uh, completely full of full of water. You can see the water, a bit of water there, I think. Yeah. So inside here as well. So that's basically it. Uh, what I'm now going to do, I've got the mag drill there. I'm now going to drill. I'm now going to measure that up to drill this stay here and drill a hole through that and then I'll cut this each time anyway you'll get the gist, I'll show you when I'm done so I'm just going to cut this uh, drill this hole here, I left the steel long because then the mag not sit on here on the mag drill you know it's for convenience so this is the first stay to hold the sub base on uh, so I drilled that drilled that first stay uh, we're now going to just get it cut to length I've got this old nod and donkey saw here so we'll get her, get her lined up in there and uh, marked off. Marked off in there. And uh, away we go. So with this particular saw, you start her up. She would have been running on overhead pulleys years ago, I think. But anyway, set up like this. And what we do, we just get that like that. And we pull this lever down, and away she goes. get that cut off. All right, so I've cut this one, cut it off to length. You know, in an ideal world, that hole there would have been 12 mil. It's a 12 mil bolt. But you know, I only got a 14 mil cut. I'd like double boost would say, you know, we're not building a nuclear reactor here. This is just a trailer subframe. You see the water in there? See the water in this? Look. That, get that sorted out. Look, dripping. So this will go in there. That will go in there. You know, to do them now, they're done. You know, tighten this. Push that in there. And we'll be we'll be welding her on there when we get our final positions. That all makes sense. So that's number one done. These will be dropped back, got cut an angle on there, and I might bring it out to the end of this track. I don't know. So we thought the next one what will be down this end. You know, I'm going to work that out, and then I'm going to drill this chassis and do a similar thing to that. You can see what I mean. Now this used to be a jockey wheel piece here, so she's got an, an extra strengthening bar on there. You know this bracket used to be on there. All right, that'll do. Well, I guess I'm lucky, um, you know, because I purchased a mag drill and what are you. But I'm going to now drill through the chassis here because I need to stick in some sort of strengthener. I've got this bit of half inch pipe there. Because um, if you don't stick that in, you know, you can press up this, this chassis. So I'm now going to do that, but I had to, I knew it was the magnet went on this vertical, the magnet went holding up that toy, you know, so I know to put a, put a little jack stand under there to hold the drill up. So we'll see how we get on with that. So as you can see, I've got this, I've got the bolt I'm going to put through there, smaller hole the other side, I'll put that in there, a small spacer piece and I'll weld that, I could just weld around here there. So that'll go in there like so, push that right in weld around here and that will you know, stop this box session cramping in and then we'll have another we'll cut another vertical bar you know to be sitting on that 
And there you go. Get the welder out now, I suppose. So, I've just been round this side. And I cut them out, as you can see. Took that charky wheel off up there, because that's a load of shit. And yeah, so that's as usual with shit like this, you know, this little bracket here, look, I might cut that off and move it. It's a shame, but never mind. Um, you know, but the, but the cable go in because the bloody hole is bang on it. You know, I try to do them even, as you would. So, we're making progress. As you do, it's the old slugs. Making progress. So, I thought I'd give you a little bit of an update. Right. So, basically, this is going to be the subframe, as you can see. These will be the staunching pieces where it's bolted on. They're all cut now. I've got to weld all this in. I'll put this back and piece here. I'm going to weld all this to this because this will be where I stick a stabiliser leg in there. So that's all cut. You know, I've got to get some shorter bolts as you would. This has got to go back a little bit. Just got to rebate that corner there. Same up that end. And here we have it. But it's getting a little bit, uh, a little bit late to start grinding, really. Um, so probably have to finish it off in the morning. But yeah, that's a little update. You know, it's coming on. A little update. I'm putting together all the main subframe pieces now. Tacked up. Don't look too bad. Very difficult to get in there. Difficult to get in there. These ones are done. Yep. Hi, uh, little update this morning. I had to stop yesterday because it was pouring down with rain. Um, so only got half a day in. Uh, I'll just show you the progress, but we're, we're getting there now. So, as you can see, a little bit of overview there. Most of this is done. This is where the crane will be sitting between these two pieces here. Just got to weld, just got to weld this piece in and then tidy it all up. So yeah, we're getting there. Um, yeah, nice. The crane base. So I've taken her off and she's on the bench. Um, you know, I've got to finish these welds off here. I'll just give you an overview of what that actually looked like. If I can bloody see the screen. The sun's out again now. What I've got to do is just weld, tidy up, I'm going to weld all down this seam here, weld in the bottoms of these, bottoms of that, up there, you know, not there, just generally tidy it up, but you, know, you can get the gist of it. Um, obviously I'm not a structural engineer or anything, but if you was to see how the crane, it's only a 250 kilo crane, so, and that bolts on four bolts, would you want to three, four, through the centre of these C-channels. And this is going to be way strong enough. The only issue I've got is how I bolt, I'm going to bolt some stabiliser legs under here and I ain't designed that yet. But, you know, if you're going to make one of these, you know, you know when something's strong enough. You really do. Well, I do anyway. You know. And I was always told an inch of weld will hold a tonne if it's done correctly. So, uh, you know, going to be on these four bolts so the leverage on that it ain't going to move well we'll see you know we'll see how it goes but yeah so that's basically it you can see it there she's coming on you know it's not took very long glad i've done it you know i've got to weld it all here that i've that out yeah it's going to be plenty strong enough anyway we'll get on with it